Okay, what's good YouTube? It's Jojo ASMR here. So today we're going to be going over the Fire King Snake Eye deck post Phantom Nightmare. A lot of people are really excited about this deck. It's getting a lot of hype and it's widely anticipated to be one of, if not the best decks going into uh, Phantom Nightmare format. If you're going to YCS Vegas or any of the other events, you might have regionals coming up. Uh, this is a holy bible I, I guess video you might want to watch to know some of the lines with the fire king snake eye deck i've been grinding this deck like crazy we're going to be showing you one card combos combos to beat droll combos to beat nibiru uh as people consider those cards to be like silver bullets versus the deck and this is just going to be a very informative educational video if you find these entertaining or whatever uh please consider giving the video a like this sort of competitive content requires a lot of research and stuff like that uh, I'm literally hindering myself because I'm going to YCS Vegas and it's probably not a good idea for me to even show you guys these lines, uh, but I'm a man for the people and I want to show you guys these combos. Uh, I probably shouldn't, but whatever. So why don't we get right into it? First, we're going to be showing you the one card combo, which is I'm sure everyone has seen at this point. It is just one Snake Eye Ash. So we're going to be blitzing through this. This is the one card combo with your Snake Eye Ash. Uh, everyone knows this, we're gonna go normal Ash, search Populous, Populous is the new Snake Eye Ash, which is broken if it's added from deck to hand except by drawing it. We can special summon it for free, and then on summon, it searches for original Sinful Spoil. Uh, you can search other targets like Dramatic Chase or uh, Subversion as well, which are other options that you can definitely do. Uh, we're gonna make a Link Karibo with Populous, and it has the broken effect to put itself back in the Spell and Trap Zone, basically making original Sinful Spoils send for free, which is crazy. Uh, from here, we're now gonna go into our Fire King engine. We're gonna go Ponyx, Ponyx gets Sanctuary, Sanctuary gets Field Spell. We're gonna go Field Spell, pop the Ponyx to get Garunix. And here we can dump something like Barong, for example. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna go Snake Eye Ash to send two to summon out the Flame Burge. From here, we're gonna link these into an IP. Flame Burge is gonna trigger to Reborn two. We're gonna link the Flame Burge, sorry, we're gonna link the Ponyx and the IP into a Promethean Princess, which is another new card coming out in Phantom Nightmare. I'm sure you guys all already know what this card does. It's a custom card. It's like a Link 3 Sprite Elf. Uh, once per turn, it's a monster reborn for a fire monster. You're locked into fires whilst it's on the field. And uh, during other player's turn, if your opponent special summons a monster, you can target a fire monster you control and one monster your opponent controls, destroy both and summon it from the graveyard, uh, which is so strong, like that, that effect was so unnecessary. So we're gonna go princess here to bring back the flame burge and then we can use flame burge's effect to place the IP that we summoned earlier back in the spell and trap zone. We can then link the princess and the other snake eye ash into a, a uh, ambler whale. Um, so in the standby phase of the next turn, Barong will trigger to search a copy of Kirin. And this is our end board from just one card. This might not look too impressive, but there's like eight interruptions layered here. Um, just to show you what those are. We can, as a quick effect, go Flame Birch to summon IP. You can use IP here to make something like an SP Little Knight, for example. Uh, you go like SP to banish, that's already one interrupt. Then we can go Flame Burge effect here to summon back two, get double search here for more follow up the next turn, which is crazy. From here, we can go something like Little Knight, maybe they activate or something. We can chain Little Knight to banish, that's a second interrupt. We can go, let's say they special summon a monster, we can use the Promethean Princess to pop our whale, to summon it back to get another pop. Then let's say they keep playing, we can now use Kieran's in hand effect to pop Promethean Princess to summon itself. And uh, from there, what will happen is we can use Ambler Whale's Graveyard Effect. If a Link 3 or lower monster you control is destroyed by battle a card effect while it sits in the grave, banish it, pop a card on the field. So that's like your fourth interruption. Garunix will also trigger on resolution as Chain Link 2 or whatever, so you can summon that to dump another Kirin. Um, Kirin's Effect triggers to summon back a Ponyx or something from your grave and popping a card. That's another interruption right there. And if they keep playing, we can quick XYZ into Garunix Eternity, blow up everything, and from there, like, you get your Little Knight back in the end phase, you get Ponyx adding back, you get Barong to search again, and you just have, like, infinite follow-up. So, that's just one thing you can do, just with the one-card combo. There are other lines you can obviously do, but that's the bare bones. But let's get into the good stuff now. So now we're going to be showing you some combos to play through some of the most common hand traps you're going to expect to see this format, which are things like Draw and Lockbird, 
and Nibiru. Uh, people say that these cards are really strong versus Fire King, and they are obviously good, but we have lines and options to play through them. So this is the anti-draw combo here with just a Snake Eye Ash. We're gonna go normal Snake Eye Ash, search Populous. We're gonna go Chain 1 Populous. They're gonna go Chain 2 Draw, all good. Still gonna summon the Populous here. And then obviously we don't get the search, so we're just gonna link it off into a Link Karibo. Trigger Pop to put it back in the Spell and Trap Zone. Now we can use Snake Eye Ash's effect to send itself and Link Karibo to summon a card which some people don't play and some people do play. Um, it's really up to you. I'm, I'm not going to really voice my opinion here because even I don't know. Uh, and we're going to summon out here Snake Eye Oak. Oak's going to reborn on summon a Snake Eye Ash. And from here we can go Oak to send itself and Populous. Same as the Snake Eye Ash to summon out Flame Burge. And then just by adding Snake Eye Oak to your deck, through Droll, you get the exact same full board that we just made. So like, it's it's pretty good. Um, alternatively, if you choose not to play Snake Eye Oak, uh, Snake Eye Ash will instead, instead of getting to an IP Mascarena, you can just link your Link Karibo and your Flame Burge into an SP Little Knight. Summon back your two guys, make a princess, bring back Flame Burge. Flame Burge can then put Little Knight in your grave into the Spell and Trap Zone, make an Amblo Whale. So you get pretty much the same thing without playing uh, Snake Eye Oak. However, you forego the SP Banish essentially, and this will be an SP Little Knight as you can't make IP with Link Karibo and, uh, and a Effect Monster. So it's up to you whether or not you want to play Oak or not. That's your prerogative. Um, so yeah, do with that what you will, but that's how to beat Droll. Next I'm going to be showing you two different variations to beat Nibiru. So there are two main fundamental lines to beat Nib. The first variation involves using uh, Snake Eye Oak. So uh, we can go Normal Summon, uh, Snake Eye Ash, Search Populous, Summon Populous, get Original. And here, what we're going to do is just go Snake Eye Ash straight away. We're not even going to make Link Karibo. So we're going to send, summon out Oak. We're going to go Chain 1 Oak to summon back from the grave. Chain 2 Populous to, summon, to put itself back in the Spell and Trap Zone. From here, we can use Oak's effect to send itself and the Populous to summon out the Dragon. Now here, what we're going to be doing is using Dragon's effect, Flame Burge's effect, to put either of the level ones in our grave in the Spell and Trap Zone. And this is really important because that's going to be our uh, send fodder for original Sinful Spoil. So we're going to place, I don't know, for example, um, I think I put, yeah, Oak. I believe this is like your fourth or fifth summon here. And from here, we're just going to make a Sunlight Wolf. We're going to trigger uh, Flame Burge's effect to summon back two from the graveyard. And we're going to, at that point, trigger Sunlight Wolf to add back Flame Burge. Now, they have to pretty much nib you here. And even if they do nib us, we don't care because we still haven't even done our Fire King plays. We can go Original Sinful Spoil to send the Oak, get Ponyx, and just keep playing through the Nibiru. So, this deck plays through Nibiru rather than plays around Nibiru. It's much like Unchained, how you just like force out the Nib and then just still play through it. But you basically force out the Nibiru here. But for example, let's say they don't, we can make a Link Karibo, put these into a Heat Soul, get a free draw, and this is their last opportunity to Nib you, because otherwise you just make an Apo. And again, even if you do get nibbed, it literally does not matter. You have amazing recovery, because we can now, at this point, use original Sinful Spoil, send the Oak, do our Fire King plays. So you basically force out their nib, and uh, you're able to do the full Fire King play. We can go uh, Fire King Island here to pop the fire monster we added back with Sunlight Wolf, in this case, Flame Burge, to search out Garunix. We can go Chain Link 1 Garunix, to summon and I like to go ahead and use Link Karibo here to get the Ponyx back out from the grave because what we send here with Garunix needs to reborn that Ponyx so it's very important to tag out that Link Karibo we're going to dump a Varda here Varda is going to bring back Ponyx from here we can link these into Princess Princess is going to reborn uh, anything you can reborn a Varda uh, you can pass on this but you're susceptible to Super Poly here 
Uh, so instead, to play around Super Poly, we can link these off into an Amblo Whale, and then through Nib, you're still able to end on Whale with Princess and a Garunix in the graveyard, which is like already four interruptions, as if they special summon, Princess will trigger popping Amblo Whale. Uh, you can go Amblo Whale effect and Garunix. Garunix summons itself, dumps a Kirin, summons back Avada, that's another pop. And the Amblo Whale can summon back Deco Talker Heat Soul to get another draw as well. So that's one line to play through Nibiru, which is utilizing Snake Eye Oak and using your Flame Burge earlier in the combo before you access your Fire King plays. The other line to play through Nibiru, basically instead of using the Snake Eye, uh, line first, then the Fire King. We're gonna go the other way around. We're gonna go the Fire King and then the Snake Eyes. So this doesn't require you to use Oak. So we're gonna go Normal Summon Ash. Ash get Populous. Populous get Spell. We're gonna this time uh, instead of just sending them both for Oak, we're gonna make Link Karibo here. We're gonna go Original send Populous. Summon Ponix. Get Sanctuary get field spell so this time what we're gonna do is we are at summon number four here we want to make flame burge the fifth summon in this case to have the best recovery into nibiru so we're gonna go ash here to send itself in specifically sanctuary to summon out flame burge if they nib us now it does next to nothing because we have three monsters in the board they nib us giving us a monster the flame burge brings back two monsters and then you can still do your princess line put back the Flame Burge, Flame Burge can put like Avada in the Spell and Trap Zone, you can still, you still have your Fire King Island, you have so much recovery, it makes no sense for them to nib you here. I'm gonna go Island now, popping the Ponix, get Garunix, Garunix is gonna dump Kir uh, sorry, Avada here specifically. Avada triggers to some about Ponix. They can nib you here, but it's not gonna do anything. You'll have a token, Flame Burge will summon back two level ones. You'll make a heater with the token and the level one. Heater and the other level one you have will make Promethean Princess. That can bring back Flame Burge. And then Flame Burge can put Garunix in the spell and trap zone. And then on your opponent's turn, you can summon that Garunix with Flame Burge. You can dump a Kirin. Kirin can then summon out Avada and pop their nib. Avada can then send the Kirin to the grave for a monster negate. And then if they special summon, we can use Princess to summon itself to get another pop and pop Aravada or whatever it may be. So you have amazing recovery through Nibiru even here as well. So the Nib doesn't do that much. If they don't Nib us here, we're gonna link these into a Princess. This is their last opportunity to Nibiru us right here. Because if they don't Nib us, we're going to summon out Avada and now they can't Nib us at all. So let's say we get Nibbed on summon right here you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna summon out two level ones from Flame Burge, get a token. You're gonna to make a random heater. You're gonna make the second princess. This is why you must play two princesses in your extra deck. Bring back the Flame Burge and do the exact same play. So even if they nib us here, it does not, literally nothing. We're gonna summon back Avada, link these now into Sunlight Wolf. We're gonna trigger the effect of Flame Burge here to summon back two level ones and you're protected from nib because you have a Sunlight Wolf as a monster negate. Trigger Sunlight Wolf to add back Flame Burge, which is broken, because on their turn we can go Avada, pop the Flame Burge in our hand as a monster negate, summon back two level ones, get additional follow up. From here we're gonna make something like a Deco Talker Heat Soul, or you can make a three material Appaloosa, it's up to you. Make a Heat Soul, tag out the Link Karibo, draw a card, and make these into two man Apo. You can also here alternatively make Amblo Whale instead. However, like I said, this opens you up to Super Poly. Um, so if you're playing this deck, the number one thing you wanna do is summon Appaloosa. It plays around Super Poly, it plays around Nibiru, and this is probably what you're gonna wanna do. All the good players are going to do these lines. They're going to summon Appaloosa because it is the best way to play around Super Poly and uh, to play around Nibiru. So those are some of the lines. I hope you really liked and enjoyed this in-depth Fire King um, combo tutorial. I probably shouldn't have even made this video so early. If you're wanting a template list, uh, here is one for example. Pretty st stock standard cookie cutter. Um, I personally just have the cards that you need here. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you found it informative. And with that said, I'll see you next time. Peace.